Hello everyone, it is your friend Jessica Moy here. I hope you are well. Yesterday I decided to stop into Value Village. It was empty because there was a tornado warning yesterday. I had the whole thrift store to myself, which made me very happy. So I'm very excited to show you what I got as well. I will be doing a little thrift flip after my haul and try on. So hopefully that goes well. Who knows? Without further ado, let's just get started. First thing I picked up, baby doll dress. Sort of like a dusty rose, which is a color that I love right now. This is originally from H&M and this was $13.99. Very casual, very comfy. And it's something that is easy, breezy, beautiful. Cover girl. Okay, the next thing I got is a bodysuit. And this was $6.99. I love the color. This is my favorite kind of gray, sort of like a heather gray. A heather gray? Is that what it's called? Why does heather get a gray? The only thing is that it is an extra small, and I don't know why I thought I was an extra small. My torso is very long. I'm 5'10. I don't know how I thought this would fit. Like the calculations just didn't match. So when I first put it on, I could hear like the threads just go and the buttons here. So there's little buttons on the crotch. It just went like I think I could still wear it it's just going to be very tight on my shoulders that's the thing about value village right now the dressing rooms are closed so I can't try things on but I will make this work I would style this with a skirt or maybe some shorts very casual I really love it I love the color I'll make it work next this cute little beige tank top kind of looks like Cheerios but they're flowers it feels very flowy and breathable and this is originally from British I don't know, never heard of it, love that. Next up are these shorts. I've been eating a lot of pizza lately, so these are a little snug. I love the details at the bottom. It's very flowy and cute and I can throw on, it's very casual. I think that's my style this summer, just throw on casual. So the next two pieces are jeans and I have a black pair and a blue pair. I will be turning these into shorts, which I will be showing you what I'll be doing um, after I talk about them a little bit. So these black pants are originally from J. Lindenberg, Stockholm? I don't know, never heard of it. But on the inside it says, designed in Stockholm for an active Scandinavian lifestyle bridging fashion and function. The only thing about these is there's no stretch in the band. It looks almost like these would be very expensive. Where's my phone? Okay, so I'm on the J. Lindenberg site here. It seems like a very stylish, active, wow, very active clothing. Okay, let's go to jeans, women, oh, golf, ski. Okay, let's go fashion. Whoa, the Damien jeans. Are these men's jeans? Okay, I feel like these are the jeans that I'm looking at right now. Originally 238 Canadian, but they're $71 on sale. Okay, so they're $238 originally, and I got them for $14.99. I knew it because they feel very high quality. The next pair of jeans is just from Zara, and they have a stretch waist, which is lovely. We love a good stretch waist. A regular pair of blue skinny jeans, which we will be also turning these into shorts. Total I spent at Value Village, with taxes included, was $65.48. I got six items, so that's not too bad. So that is my haul and try on, and now we're going to get into the DIY portion of this video. I'll be turning my pants into shorts. We'll see how this goes. It is DIY time, very exciting. So step one is to try on the jeans and mark exactly where you wanna cut across. And you only need to do one leg, just a little dot. You're going to lay the jeans down on a, the ground or the table and make sure the fly and the button is all done up so everything is aligned. And then I have the dullest scissors in the world, but if you have better scissors, I advise better scissors, you're gonna cut right across. And then once that is done, you're going to fold over your jeans like so, and you're going to cut the other leg just across following the line that you just did. And then once that is complete, I like to try the jeans back on and then cuff them two or three times. And once you're done that, you're done. Fini. I am so happy how these turned out. If you want more of a loose like mom jean fit, uh, I would definitely get mom jeans, but these were skinny jeans so they're a little tight, but I think they're really cute. This is a vibe. This is really simple and easy and if you have a pair of jeans that you want to just get rid of, why don't you cut them and cuff them? 
Not too long, not too short. I love them. Success. On to the next pair. Moving on to our black jeans. So similar to our blue jeans, we're going to lay them out and then make sure the button and the fly is all done up. And then I'm going to cut one leg across like so. And I'm gonna make these a little longer, um, just preference. So I'm gonna fold these over and then cut across the other leg as well. And then what we're going to do differently here is I'm going to distress these shorts. So I'm gonna take some tweezers and I'm gonna go at the ends of the shorts and just kind of pluck it out and fray it a bit. Cause you don't want it to look like you bluntly just cut these shorts. So having these frays will just kind of make it really look cool and edgy. So keep doing that until you are satisfied with the distress at the end of your shorts. And then you're gonna take some cardboard if you wanna do a little bit more distressing. Make sure you take the pocket out so you don't wreck your pocket. And then at the end of your scissors, you're just gonna hack it. You're just gonna have at it. Take out all your day's anger. Just remember to put the cardboard underneath your shorts because you don't wanna ruin the other end or you can ruin the other end. It's whatever you want. These are distressed shorts. They're supposed to look very uneven. So I'm actually gonna do a little butt slip right here. I kind of like this look. I've seen it a lot on Instagram. What I really love about this DIY is that the more imperfect it looks, the better it looks. So you really can't make a mistake here. You just kind of fray at it with your scissors until you like what you see. Um, and then I'm gonna take my tweezers for this hole and just take out some threads. Not take out, but kind of just like fray it up and rough it up a little bit. And then you're done. They are a little distressed at the bottom. We've got the butt slit. And my hands are full of like little calluses now from like picking at this. But I feel like once you put these in the wash, it'll distress a little more. I paired it with a chunky gold necklace and this little tie up blouse and a belt. Ah, uh, yeah. So that is my video. I hope you enjoyed my thrift haul and try on and little DIY action. Like this video if you liked it, subscribe to this channel. Also comment below what kind of videos you want to see from me in the future. Do you want to see more fashion? Do you want to see more DIYs, home decor, photo editing, anything like that? Let me know. I'm going to go take a cold shower now because I'm sweating a lot. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!